And what we've done is utilize some of our folks that know how to, you know, help a client through that mm -hmm. uh, tool and understand it, come in and testify to it as an expert. You know, I'm, you know, this is what I've been doing. I'm an advocate. I work with victims. I have done, you know, I'm trained in stalking. And then we enter this, we enter the tool wow. um, to talk about like, hey, this is an evidence-based tool that she provided this information. So, hey, judge, like she is definitely being stalked. Mm -hmm. And um, that's kind of the other area. So we talk about coercive control and the lethality assessment, but it's stalking that has been, um, I think, the most like profound shift in my practice. It's really easy when people separate from abusive partners for their behavior to not look like stalking or for us to minimize it because mm -hmm. we're like, oh, he just wants to see his kids. Mm -hmm. That's why he's sitting out her place all day. Mm -hmm. Or he just wants to talk to her about their money situation. That's why he's showing it up her job every day. And he's just leaving her flowers on her car. I mean, it's because he loves her, right? And we don't understand because of the nature of their relationship and because they share children together, we misidentify the tactics of stalking. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened in the young woman's case in 2014.